let me get into the rest of my presentation. Okay, so I want to talk about <clears throat> how to succeed as an entrepreneur. Um, number one, take risks fast. Take risks often and take risks by design. Um, your risks need to be calculated. Don't just do anything. Um, be prepared and be aggressive. Um, I use my experience as a missionary as my roadmap. How many of you served a mission or will serve a mission or knew someone who served a mission? Um, think about when you were a missionary. You woke up in the morning and you studied and prepared, right? And then you went out and you worked and you worked hard and you worked long hours. And how much success did you have? Okay, let's define success. Um, you worked a lot of hours to teach a minimal amount of discussions to people. But you went out and sold, 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 right? And you taught some discussions. And then, when, and then how many people, you know, were you successful in helping convert to the church as a missionary? Um, depends on your mission, but when you compare that to the number of days you worked, it was probably very few successes. But you continued to work. You know, how many times were you teaching a family, you were so excited, and then they dropped you, and you're heartbroken. So what'd you do? You just got right back up and went to work, right? That's what you got to do as an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur, uh, you can't go out work, fail, or um, get let down, and then just walk away or quit. You've got to work, work, work. You've got to prepare, study, do everything you can. You've got to go out and sell yourself, work hard. You're going to fail. Um, you're going to get up, take more risks, and you're going to fail, and it's just going to happen over and over again. But during all of those failures, there's going to be some successes. And it's those successes that make you successful as an entrepreneur. And really, the failures make you successful too. But you've got to take that risk. And you got to do it over and over and over again. Um, you got to fail fast, fail often, and fail by design. Um, here's five ways to help you fail as often as possible. Find and embrace your biggest critic. So find the person who thinks you're the worst thing in the world and listen to them. Find out why they think that because you might learn something. Design everything to fail. Intentionally try and break your business model, your business. Because it's in doing that that you're going to find out how to fix it. You're going to find out how to make it better. Um, delegate failing. Which means don't be afraid to uh, let others in your business take responsibility and make things happen. Janae and I had that talk today. <laughs> I wasn't letting her fail. I was telling her what to do. And I'm, I'm preparing for this, and I'm thinking, I'm not doing this right. And I'd given her responsibility, and then I was taking it away from her. And so uh, I apologized and corrected myself. Um, love your haters. OK, your haters are going to teach you so much about yourself and your business. Um, and believe that you are psychic and have the courage to make tough decisions. So go out and make tough decisions. Just make it happen. And uh, believe that you're right. I can't tell you how many times people just, they want to they want to do something, and they just don't believe in themselves, and they don't take the risk, and they're afraid to fail, and they just don't believe. And you just have to. You just have to. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. Um, I've had, I've worked with hundreds of students at BYU who have come to me and said, I want to launch this business. And we work, and we, and, we, and we work on it. And then in the end, they just, well, I just uh, don't want to, uh, uh, I don't want to take away any of my free time. I've got to study, or, um, you know, there's always an excuse. Um, 
But if you don't try, how can you fail? And if you don't fail, how can you succeed? Um, work hard, work smart, work by design. Here's some of the rules that I have in my life, in my business. Um, I believe I work smarter than anyone else. I probably don't, but I believe I do, and I try to. Uh, I believe I work harder than anyone else when I'm working. I travel as little as necessary, because I love to travel, but travel just, I don't get anything done when I travel. So if I can get on the phone, I get on the phone. If I can uh, do a, a, a Skype, I do a Skype, because I can accomplish the same thing. The, this morning, uh, I had a meeting this morning in Bountiful, and I drove all the way up there, and it lasted 15 minutes. And everything we did could have been done over the phone. And I thought, holy cow, it's two, two and a half hours of my day spent driving, you know, pretty much. Uh, I do not work at home. When I go home, I make it family time. Sometimes I have to, but I, I generally don't. Um, I make effort, every effort to be home when my children are home. So I don't come home at 10 o'clock at night. I come home at 4 in the afternoon. Why? Because that's when my children get home, and I want to be there with my family. And Jeremy may not admit it, but I think it's part of the reason he's such a good kid. Because we... Uh, we make every effort to, to be the best family we can be and spend a lot of time with our children. I don't work on vacation. Um, one of my websites went down two weeks ago, <laughs> and I had no idea for three days, and the team in India wasn't monitoring like they were supposed to, and I would have caught it. I lost a lot of money, but it's because of my rule I don't work on vacation. And I finally gave in and checked, and. My worst fears. I just knew something was wrong, and that's why I checked. Um, I take a lot of vacations with my family. Um, you guys are young. I know you are, but pretty soon you're going to have families, and the time goes by so fast. It's incredible. Um, and so I spend as much time as I can with my family. I always accept church callings and believe that my family and my business will be blessed for my service. And that's a commitment I made when I was young. That uh, uh, if I serve and give as much time as I can, I, I feel like the blessings I receive will over, overcompensate, and I believe they have. I always donate my time and money to nonprofit organizations, to, to the BYUs, especially BYU Hawaii. I love serving there. We're, we're on the National Advisor or the President's Leadership Council, and it's only because we get to go over there twice a year. No, we actually love it, but uh, it's, it's, it's an excuse to have to go to Hawaii. Um, lead fast, lead often, lead by design. Most people need a leader. And if you're going to be an entrepreneur, if you're going to start a business, they're going to sit and they're going to wait for you to lead. The people that work for you, the people that want to work with you, you have to take the lead. So don't be afraid to step up and just lead. Lead by example, take charge. Um, people will follow you. And love fast, love often, love by design. Um, love what you do or don't do it. I'm telling you, you've got to love what you do. And if you love what you do, you're going to be more successful. And if you hate what you do, just get out of it. Love the people you work with. You've got to love people. Love your customers. Okay. How do you show your love? Well, I think you show it by being honest, ethical, kind, be a leader, be compassionate, be an example, and be the person your seven-year-old thinks you are. Yeah, your seven-year-old always thinks you're the greatest person in the world, so be that person. Okay, 